Hi everybody, Miss Kelly here and today I'm reading How Winston Delivered Christmas and I am on chapter 21 so that means I'm reading it on the 21st of December and the chapter is called Clockwork. Winston couldn't believe it. Clockwork, he whispered. It's not the real Father Christmas at all, but a clockwork one. He was now standing in one of the enormous windows of Fortescue's, looking at the extraordinary scene in front of him. Everything was set up as if they were in Father Christmas's workshop at the North Pole. In the middle of the display stood Father Christmas, but he wasn't a real person at all. He was a lovely and probably very expensive model, but a model nonetheless. I'm afraid so, said Eduardo sadly. We always have lovely Christmas window displays here at the store, but this is the biggest and most extravagant we've ever had. It's taken almost a whole year to plan and make. We've had crowds of people standing outside looking at it and people have travelled for miles to see it. Watch. Eduardo disappeared behind one of the painted background panels and carefully flicked a number of switches that were hidden away out of sight. The window suddenly came to life. Lights flickered on and a curtain of pretend snow began to fall behind an artificial window at the back of the workshop. Christmas music started to play and all around Winston things sprang into motion. Train sets chugged around the scene puffing out smoke. Toy aeroplanes swooped and looped overhead. Rows of teddy bears waved their fluffy paws and dolls danced in circles. Clockwork elves dashed around on hidden tracks, each carrying parcels or toys or bunches of carrots for reindeers whose heads appeared every so often through the workshop door. And then there was Father Christmas himself, surrounded by sacks overflowing with gifts, checking a long scrolling list in his hand then waving to the imaginary crowds outside. His eyebrows waggled and he smiled, and every so often his big belly would jiggle with glee at the scene around him. It really was wonderful, but Winston couldn't enjoy any of it. He felt so wretched and sad. He tried so hard to deliver his letter, but he'd let his hungry tummy distract him. He should have known that the real Father Christmas wouldn't have time to be standing around in shops on Christmas Eve. And now it was too late to get the envelope to the North Pole. Winston slumped against Father Christmas's boots and covered his face with his ears. Whoever wrote that letter isn't going to get anything tomorrow morning. And it's all my fault, he groaned. Eduardo watched Winston and felt helpless. If only there was some way he could help his young friend out. He looked about him for any inspiration, suspecting that he wouldn't find any, but hoping nevertheless. Suddenly, his eyes fell on something that planted the seed of an idea in his mind. All might not be lost, Winston, he said slowly. But it is already, said Winston sadly. I'll never get to the North Pole now. Eduardo grinned. I think you might. How? said Winston, sitting up. Eduardo pointed to one of the toy planes that was busy loop the looping above their heads and said, You're going to fly. So, that's the end of this chapter. Come back tomorrow for the next chapter. Bye.